for you weather sponsored by executive homes. Tracking those clouds continuing to stream in across the area. So we're still on track for not quite as much sun as what we had yesterday in the mix for today. You can see those clouds continuing to build in. Now I'm going to take this off visible satellite and take it over to dual Doppler to let you know why we're seeing those clouds. There's a system out to our west that is in the panhandle that is supplying us with these clouds. Good news from what we're tracking yesterday. It's looking to arrive in our area a little bit later. So what does that mean? We'll have plenty of dry time for today with only an isolated chance to our far westernmost counties for a few showers for today. The rest of us, we're going to stay dry and we'll even get a few breaks in that cloud deck because those are some high clouds that are passing through. So that is some welcome news for our Sunday live look right now. You can see those clouds continuing to build in as we're looking out towards the Arkansas River. Here for Tulsa, it's 54 degrees southeasterly winds right at around four miles per hour. Dew points are in those 50s, a little bit higher than what we had yesterday. What does that mean? A little bit of humidity will be creeping in for today. 55, good morning to Muskogee. 52 over in Tahlequah. 54 to our friends over in Ponca City. Thank you so much for waking up with us. For those of you that are planned today to get out, maybe go to the SPGA. You just saw Corey is live from there. We're tracking temperatures that will be heading into those 70s for today. So despite that lack of sun, we're still at least climbing into those 70s by this afternoon. So a pleasant finish. Uh, for the SPGA for today. If you're headed out and about, if you're at the lake right now, that's some welcome news about staying dry for today. 72 will do it for your daytime high down in Stigler. 71 right here in Tulsa. Seasonal average should be in those mid 80s. So this is some very pleasant conditions. We're staying below, well below that seasonal average for this time of the year. 70 up in Bartlesville. Let's talk about what we're seeing for today. Those clouds will continue to filter in. Again, we'll get some breaks. This is some welcome news for those of you that are at, up at Grove right now, out at Grand Lake, Lake Tenkiller, Eufaula. We'll actually see a little bit more sunshine in that area before those clouds really start to take over by about mid-afternoon. Look at that right now. We're seeing with that time lapse right now. That's some welcome news for you guys. Southeasterly winds will be driving in probably by the time you're packing up and head back into town, maybe staying an extra day since a lot of you are off for tomorrow. That's when we're seeing the arrival of those showers and thunderstorms for our Memorial Day. So that system will be taking its time trying to reach to our area. I went ahead and put a 10% into our far westernmost counties. Again, the rest of us will not be receiving any of that rainfall. Setting comfortable and calm and clear for the evening hours. I do see some breaks, so I'm going to go ahead and put us in that calm and clear position. Maybe partly cloudy. 57 for your overnight low in Muskogee. So warmer, but still below that average for this time of the year, which is 64 uh, for those overnight lows. Here's what you can plan on for your Memorial Day planner. We'll keep those showers and thunderstorms about a 40 to 50% chance early in the morning. After that lunch hour, we're looking to have more widespread opportunity. So make sure that you have that rain gear ready to go. More showers can be expected. We will have some isolated thunderstorms possible. Thankfully, I'm not seeing any severe threats with this. We will have some periodic heavy downpours. Here's that timeline again, 60% for the morning hours after the lunchtime. You're looking to have those more widespread. So maybe a great day to uh, get some stuff done early if you can, and then maybe hang back, catch a movie or something later on uh, for the remainder of the day. We'll see some heavy rainfall continuing into our Tuesday. Daily chances for showers and a few thunderstorms as we head into the remainder of the work week. Julian, I'll be right back after the break.